so I'm gonna start making these like mini Scrivener tutorials and later I'm gonna make a playlist. The goal here is that I want to introduce you to Scrivener one byte at a time. Uh, but if you wanna have an overview of Scrivener, you can click on the cards here and here. I should memorize where they are and to check my full Scrivener tutorials. But anyway, if you're just getting started with Scrivener and you already have your project on Word, first thing you wanna do, you wanna convert that project to Scrivener. So suppose your project is divided in several .doc files. So you wanna import those files to Scrivener uh, and the way you do that, you go to File, and import and files and then you select your files. Scrivener creates a text for each one of those files. Think of these texts are scenes in your novel. Now you can do whatever you want. You can change the title of those scenes, you can rearrange them in any way that suits you. But suppose you have your entire project in just one big a doc file, you have two choices. You can either import the full doc file, it's the same process as we did before, the only difference now is that I'm importing just one file, and then you can divide that into scenes by pressing common key. Like this, you go to the end of your scene and you press common key and Scrivener will create a new scene for you. Then all you need to do now is do this scene by scene. Then you can rename all those files and rearrange them in any way that you want. Or you can do this in a different way. You can go to your document and insert a hashtag. Then you can configure Scrivener to split your text into scenes. So what you need to do, you need to select to import and split. And don't forget to use the hashtag symbol here. And so Scrivener will separate your file into scenes and again you can organize that in any way you want. Keep in mind that when you import your project to Scrivener, well, your doc file will remain the same. So if you make changes in your doc file, they will not show in Scrivener. But anyway, that's it for today. If you have any questions about Scrivener, please put them in the comment section below because I will make more videos like this so your questions will really help me. Uh, and if you like this video, please hit the like button hit below and if you want you can subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! In this case... Uh...